usak ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, gikan sa INTV, CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas. Punuhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Nakbayan sa Sugbog, ipaubos na sa water crisis tungod sa grabing kainit sa panahon. Baitianyos nga lalaki nga construction worker na sikop sa kapulisan humanakwa ano gapin sa 7 million pesos nga kantidad siya shabu. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa News Ang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami mahatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita, gideklarar na ni Mayor Michael Rama nga nasinati na sa dakbayan sa Sugbo ang krisis sa supply sa tubig tungod sa epekto sa El Nino Phenomenon. Dali nga gikonbay ni Rama ang iyang mga appointed board of directors sa MCWD o mga sakop sa Task Force Gubat Maha o nagsabot sa mga sunod nga mga lakas. Giapil niya sa pagpatawag ang mga department heads sa city government gawas lang sa mga gitangtang na MCWD board members pinanguluhan ni Attorney Joey Dalos. Giawag usap sa mayor ang mga sakop ng mga labot sa mga sunod ng mga lakang karong nagipaubos na sa state of calamity ang 28 ka mga mountain barangay dinhi sa dakbayan sa Sugbo. Gitugutan sa Hunta Provincial ni Governor Gwendolyn Garcia nga mapasaka og kaso batok sa mga opisyal sa National Museum of the Philippines. Tungod kay kini, wa sila mitugot nga iuli ang nawala nga pulpit panel sa Archdiocesan Shrine sa Patrocinio de Maria Santissima sa lungsod sa Bulhoon. Obo sa resolusyon, giduso nila ni Bukal Red Duterte o Stanley Caminero, apil sa pasakaan og kaso mao ang naghupot sa mao nga pulpit panel human nga giingo nga gikawat kano duman nga gitunon nila ni Edwin Rigo Bautista og Aileen Beltran Bautista ang mao nga panel sa National Museum ni adtong buwan sa Pebrero mao nga dali nga mihangyo ang kapitulyo ngadto sa National Museum nga iuli kini dayon apan wa pa sila makadawat og tubag gikan sa ahensya Adunay pasiunang pagpangandam ang Cebu Provincial Government alang sa umabot nga pasigarbo sa Sugbo 2024. Human kini nga nahimo nga gipahibaw ni Governor Gwendolyn Garcia ni atong Domingo sa pagkabanhaw. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod na itong Bipsocom intern nga si Clyde Delda. Gibutyang ni Board Member Red Duterte nga adunay tulo ka mga contingent ang enteresadong musalmot sa pasigarbo sa Sugbo 2024. Gipadangat nila kini sa wala pa ang nahimong anunsyo ni Gobernador Gwendolyn Garcia ni Addong Easter Sunday bahin sa Maong Indigay. Matod ni Duterte nga nakasugod ang nahisgutang mga contingent o pili sa ilang mga dancers aron makasalmot. Samtang mipadangat ang mga choreographers o artistic directors ngadto sa mga mayor sa ilang interes bahin sa pagsalmot sa Pasigarbo. Ang uh, economic activity na brought about by Pasigarbo Dari dito gitu provinsya. So ang mga tao, ang uh, contingents, ang mga suppliers in terms of tourism, in terms of other businesses at mabubo ang kwarta sa probinsya. Pipila sa mga konsiderasyon alang sa pagpili sa venue sa Pasigarbo sa Subo mao ang dagan sa trapiko sa palibot. Hinuon na himong luag ang dagan sa trapiko sa miaging tuig maong wala sila'y nadawat nga reklamo gikan sa mga nananaw. Ipaagi pa una sa panagsabot sa Kapitolyo ang pagpili kung asa ipahigayon ang giilang festival sa ball festivals nga mahitabo karong Agosto. Ang pasigarbo sa Sugbo mao ang usa sa mga halapad nga tourism program sa Kapitolyo diin gipaila sa matag lungsod ang ilang kapistahan. Para na mo, probinsya sa Kapitol, uh, this is really for the people, no? Um, ang Pasigarbo, more than it being a showcase of culture, or more more um, than being an economic activity, no? para di rin sa probinsya, uh, makapasulbo magod siya sa Garbo sa Matagsubuan nun. Clyde Delda, Bipsocom, Intern, CCTN News. 
Giguba sa mga sakop sa Cebu City Government ang pagpadlak sa gate sa Cebu Port Authority dool sa kumpanya maritima kagapon sa hapon. Subay kini sa mando ni Mayor Michael Rama nga susihon ang maong dapit tungod sa giingong construction activities sa nagpadayon bisan o gagipahunong na. Gipatawag ni Mayor Rama ang mga sakop sa kapulisan alang sa pagsusi hinundan nga girespondihan na kini. Gipanguluhan sa mga sakop sa office o the building officials o konubo o ga giobanan usab sa mga sakop sa Cebu City DRRMO City Legal Office o probe team ang maong operasyon dool sa kumpanya maritima. Giklaro usab sa City Administrator nga si Attorney Colin Rosel nga igo lang silang ipatuman sa mando sa mayor. Wapay tubag ang Cebu Port Authority kalabot sa pagguba sa maong agay. Usa ka 20 anyos nga construction worker na dakpan sa bypass operation sa Lapu-Lapu City Police Office nakuhaan siya og shabu nga nagkatidad og 7.4 milyones ka pesos. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod sa to ang Bipsocom intern nga si F Arindayen. Nakumbis ka sa mga operatiba sa City Intelligence Unit sa Lapu-Lapu City Police Office ang dinakpang si Alias Bayan usa ka construction worker o residente sa barangay Toong. Siya ang maong gitumbog sa kapulisan nga nakakuha og high value individual maong nakuhaan kini og drugas nga mukabat ngadto sa 7.4 million pesos. Atol kini sa gipahigayon nga bypass operation sa Sityo Lawis, Barangay Pusok, Lapu-Lapu City ni Adtong Sabado. Ang iyang pagkasikop misangpot sa pagkasakmit sa usa ka kilo nga gidudahang shabu. Sa kilo, usa ka gramo nga shabu. With a standard drug price value of 7,480,000 Dito sa Barangay Lawis, Pusok uh, Sityo Lawis, Barangay Pusok Then, uh, Kanisya is nila Matod sa Lapu-Lapu City PNP Nga nagsugod ang suspect sa iyang illegal nga binuhatan ni Adtong Disyembre Gipaabot sa usa kabuwan nga surveillance ang mga otoridad Si alias Bayan nga una panilusad sa anti-drug operation Nasutas sa ilang investigasyon nga sa dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu Og lungsod sa Cordova Ang sugod niyang giptag palitan og drogas Sulod sa usa ka semana makadispos ang maong suspek og usa ka kilo nga shabu. Natangog karon si Alias Bayan sa Lapu-Lapu City PNP og gikasuhan og gasong illegal nga pagpamaligya og pagpayuhot og dinadiling drugas. F Arendayan, Bipsocom Intern, CCTN News. Mao kadto ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngat sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi ang atong seri 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga misa manukad live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate uh, this uh, octave, not just day, within the octave of Easter. And we offer this Mass for all your intentions, for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today. And for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration. For the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer, prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. As one family, we are gathered here, my dear friends. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us Paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possess of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, 
this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. the goodness 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one of the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Why are you weeping? Happy Easter, everyone. Everyone is happy, ba? Para gamay raman nag-smile. Anyway, no? It's good to ask also, no? Why why I'm not smiling, no? Oh, why am I weeping? <laughs> Yesterday I was so sad, I cried. Why? Because my Facebook account and Messenger has been hacked, and the hacker, you know, excluded me, and I cannot open anymore. And this hacker, you know, communicate all my friends and asking for money. And many of my friends already sent 10,000 pesos, and many said, Father, what happened to you? And that's why yesterday I went to um, police, no? the anti-cyber crime police. And thank God, the police uh, able to uh, recover my account. And what happened is that I cried so, uh, so hard that, Lord, why did this happen to me? Many of my friends called me, no? that you know I'm not, you know my face there, and you know, they are using my face, no? asking for donations for money. So that is why no? I, I'm so sad. No? But you know when you cry, what happened to your eyes? Of course, full of tears. And if your eyes is full of tears, what happened? You cannot see clearly. So that is why sometimes we are like Mary Magdalene. No? Our eyes are full of tears and we cannot see God. That God is with us. God is calling our name. We are called by God. No? And God called us by name. No? Like in the gospel, no? Mary. And Mary was, you know, oh, Mary, she knew the voice of Jesus. She knew the voice of the good shepherd, no? Rabboni, teacher. So today, let us ask ourselves, no? why am I not happy? What makes me sad? No, there are things, no? you know, what happened, what we have feel, kung anong say, feeling na to karon, this is the effect of what happened last night, yesterday, the other week, or the other month, or last year. It's okay to cry. You know, when we were born, what happened when we were born? The baby, you know, the nurse or the doctor or the windwife said, if the baby don't cry, the baby is not normal. So it's normal to cry. But we have to cross over or pass over. No? If Jesus, he died on Good Friday, in Saturday he passed over to Sunday, Easter Sunday. So today we have to cross over or pass over. No? And today... I was so happy no? because um, I can open now my, I retrieve my account. No? So this hacker, I know already who he is. No? But 
you know, because he's using the number of GCAS and all of this. But my brother said, we have to manhunt, manhunt this man and, you know, I want to put him in prison or kill him. And I said, let it go. Huh? Let it go. Let God. Anyway, ang gaba dili magsaba, di ba? <laughs> so, in the the second question of Jesus to Mary is that, you know, uh, why, whom are you looking for? Okay? So, whom are you looking? What are you looking now? Or whom are you looking? That is your priority. We are here in, here in this chapel praying. Our priority is God. When we find God, what happened to the next uh uh, uh, conversation of Jesus to Mary Stop holding at me You know, when Mary found Jesus She don't want to let go anymore You are alive, Lord What you said when you are alive That, you know, uh, when, what you said Before, that you will be raised from the dead And Mary, she cannot let go What Jesus said Stop holding at me, stop It means that Mary should let go Because How can we share God if you know, if our hand is closed, we need to open. No? We need to let go and let God. Sometimes in our life, we put God in the box or we are, you know, no? uh, parang atuwa na ang ginoo. We cannot share anymore the joy and happiness. That is why Jesus said, go rather to my disciples and tell them, I will meet them into Galilee. No? So Mary, she let go God, she let go Jesus, and then she become the Apostles of the Apostles. So today, this is our challenge. No? Whom are you looking for? You're looking for God? So, okay, that is your priority now. So if you can find God, so let go and let God. Okay? We cannot put God in our... Just let go. Huh? So we are not the... Sana, dili na to ang ginoo. No? So that uh, we are not happy anymore. Okay? So... Uh, it's okay to cry in the season of uh, Easter. Remember, no? uh, pray to the Lord and ask for the grace. Lord, help me to be joyful. No? And it's good to ask yourself also, no? what makes me joyful? Ask your neighbors, why are you so sad? What are you, why are you weeping? What makes you joyful? Okay? And ask the Lord about it. And the Lord give us the grace. So that is why we celebrated uh, Easter for Eight days, octave of Easter. Why? So that we can savor the joy of the Easter. Amen? So today, ask the Lord, huh? Why are you weeping? Or what makes you sad? And then, if you find God, let go. No? Stop holding at God. Amen. Let us all stand and let us pray to God our Father. The Lord has delivered us from ignominy of sin. May we share in the triumph of resurrection by repenting of our sins and turning to God with hope and trust. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Risen Lord, bring to mind the cry of Mary. I have seen the Lord, and grant us faith to believe, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May Mary Magdalene, the first to witness Christ's resurrection, and a true and authentic evangelizer, be an inspiration to all Christians to reflect more deeply the dignity of women, the new evangelization, and the greatness of the mystery of divine mercy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the tears of Mary Magdalene at the tomb be a reminder to all that sometimes in our lives, tears are the lenses we need to see Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of life, bring your word of life to those enslaved by fear, those in need of comfort, and those walking in darkness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In the resurrection, Heaven is wedded to earth, and all creation is reconciled with God. Watch over humanity and creation still in agony, while waiting for the revelation of the children of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we give you thanks for the marvelous things you have done in Christ. Grant us to die daily to sin 
and live with him in the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept and compassion, Lord, we pray. The offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exhaust in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. It is bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, Archbishop, Bidifil, and Rubin, Oxalari Bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy will come them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles, with... San Pedro Calongso, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be with me. The presence of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, 
I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the renewed, for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gifts of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by believing, by living in a right manner in, on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family.